Hi, I'm Kelly Moore here for TNE Distributing. We're here in the Twin Cities area of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, and talking about cast wheel loaders. And today, the largest on the market from cast, this is the Max O Series wheel loader. There's two models, a 57S with a single speed drive, and then a 57D in a two speed drive, and that's what we're looking at here. 57 horsepower powered by a Kohler engine, turbocharged with a DOC type emission system. Never needs maintenance as opposed to a DPF type system. So a real high performance, high torque engine in a great wheel loader. It's a telescopic design wheel loader with a two stage boom. The telescopic boom will get up as much as 130 inches of height. These style tires, the way you see it, this is a 31, 1550 by 15 tire. Very good traction tire, a lot of wide flotation the way you see it here. It's 15 and a half inches wide, so great for working in soft conditions, mud conditions, and gives you a lot of traction and flotation just for the sheer nature of it. The machine is built for high performance. It has a high flow auxiliary hydraulic system in its own right. It's at 21 gallons a minute. So it's made to power all sorts of different attachments to accommodate this size loader. It's got a lot of ability in lifting. Its capacity as a standard unit is 4,630 pounds in the 57S with an open cab. When you go to this version, you're talking about a load capacity now of 5,071 pounds. Rated capacity on this machine. Now naturally, that's in the boom, in the in position here, lifting off the ground, going up. Once you start articulating the machine and turning, or you're extending the boom with the teleboom, your capacity goes down, as is the nature of any type of articulated wheel loader. As far as specifications, you're talking a machine that's about 59 inches wide. It's about 124 inches of length. And the radius in a very tight turn is under 10 foot at 119 inches. So a lot of capabilities working around different job sites, working with tree operations and whatever kind of work you have to fit this style and size and capacity machine, it's made to do the work. As we take a look at the front of this Maxo series wheel loader from CAST, dual cylinders here that give you that extra amount of performance in lifting with the load arm. The single cylinder here is part of your leveling mechanism. So keeping in mind, when you lift those arms all the way up and all the way down, you're gonna keep a level bucket, level forks, whatever your attachment happens to be. You have a huge tilt cylinder on the upper part here that regulates naturally the tilting of your quick attach going forward and back and you have a huge amount of breakout force when there's some hard digging to be done you've got plenty of reserve hydraulic breakout power with the cylinder that's there further into the hydraulics you've got a very clean routing well protected here bulkhead fittings all along steel tubing running in parallel here so it's made to give you a lot of lasting life on this machine. And other protection, all steel here, steel plate, there's no electrics running, there's no hydraulics, there's no wiring of any sort. All very clean, all protected for the longevity and life of the machine. Nice glass cab on this one, equipped as a cab enclosure, as a deluxe cab with heat or with air conditioning forthcoming and you have ability of opening up the cab door, nice wide open space to get in, grab a hold of the wheel, jump on in, get into this really comfortable deluxe suspension cloth heated seat. Ability of moving forward and back, so depending on the operator's size, you make all the control adjustments as you need to and, and get the comfort the way you need it. It's got windshield wiper here, you're steering up front, Excellent visibility all the way down to the front end of the machine. Just a very nice deluxe design cab on this cast loader. Inside the cab here of the Maxo series loader, you've got your control functions. Aside from the steering wheel, run with your left hand. You've always got your right hand on the master control, and that's your 11 
function joystick. As the machine is running, you're functioning, the lift arm is pulling back for up and lowering, tipping it to the right or left will tip your quick attach down or bring it back up. Other buttons on the top, you have your telescopic control for extending or retracting the telescopic and then functioning on and off. In the middle here, you have your intermittent control as far as auxiliary hydraulic on the very bottom buttons here. I'll turn the key on here. You've got your front pump control. You've got a dual pump control, single pump, going into dual pump, your parking brake, locking the brakes on for the machine, and then going into a two-speed. You have that dual speed on this machine, single speed, dual speed giving you pretty good fast ground speed. And that's simply done here, switching it right at that point. Here you got your control for a float position. You've got control here for your front electrics control as part of your auxiliary hydraulic, either for there or to the rear. Here is your seat heater control, either off or on during the temperatures when you need it in the winter. And then controlling your comfort here and for AC or heat is your fan control and temperature control right here as far as the thermostat control on the machine. When you look to the instrument panel up front, that's the operator's real lifeblood on how the machine is operating. Your normal panel is how you see it there and you got your RPM gauge, fuel level, coolant temperature at all times. One touch of the screen gives you system data of the fuel and oil level and so on. The SCR as part of the engine emission system comes up. Once more is more engine data, engine alarm, and then you go back to the first and your most common readout screen that the operator is gonna to refer to. For the comfort of the cab, naturally during the cooler and cold winter months, windows are closed, door seal closed, you've got the heater system. During into the late spring, summer months, especially the heat of the summer, when you really like to get some full flow through ventilation, you got the ability of taking the left door off and then right here, unclipping the door, the front right window, and then pulling it backward, pulling the hinge off, and you got it removed and have full flow through air. As we take a look at the back section here of the Maxo model cast loader, a couple of things to point out. As with other cast loaders, you have what's called a dead man switch or electrical disconnect switch. When that's turned and pulled out, you got that with you, you've now disabled the entire electrical system for vandalism. So it cannot be started, there's no electrics in it when this is removed. It goes back in, in a simple procedure here, sliding it in, snap it into place, you've now energized it, the machine's ready to start and be operated as normal. Also on the back end of the machine, a good view of it is part of that counterweight package. There's a center chassis weight and then this optional rear weight. Those combined together give this machine that huge, over 5,000 pound load capacity. So then we'll take a look at the way of maintenance and serviceability here. And you've got a very large cover over the top. You've got two pins that we've already removed on the front. We've got a quick snap right here. So what we'll do now is grab a hold, and it takes two people to do it, but because of the bulkiness, it's not real heavy, but you just wanna do it safely. Grab a hold, lift it up straight, move all the way back, set it on down, and then you're able to continue going back to the machine and covering the service and maintenance. You've got this huge, wide open area now for access for checking the machine. You've got that Kohler diesel engine. You've got the dipstick to check. Your hydraulic filter is here. You've got your large radiator cooler here. You've got the windshield wash reservoir right here. Air filter here, very easy to be able to unsnap. Very easy on the machine overall. Right down below here is where the battery is. So overall, in your local shop, ability to get after it and get the servicing and maintenance done right at your own location. So there you have it, that is the Maxo, the largest, highest capacity, highest performance wheel loader from the CAST Loader Group. For more information on this and all the CAST model loaders, go to tnedistributing.com. Thanks for watching.